have resolved the problem with their number eight and Frank Casper has decided that his injured knee will stand up to 90 minutes of fierce competition. So Ray Hankin will be substitute. First season back in the first division, lying seventh in the league and nobody has done more for Burnley this season than their skipper Martin Dobson, now in the England squad for the game against Portugal this coming week. As for Newcastle, Pat Howard returns to five after suspension. Frank Clark is fit to return to number three and Newcastle have the side that has taken them through so many cup crises this season. But their trump card, of course, must be the man who scored 21 goals this season for them. Malcolm McDonald, the biggest single threat to Burnley. Referee today, Gordon Hill of Leicester, making his point strongly to both captains. And indeed, he had an afternoon that was an object lesson for all budding referees. A magnificent game. What about that for a sight? The crowd, 55,000 strong. That bank virtually taken over by the Newcastle supporters, with Burnley's at the other end. What a sight it is on such a beautiful afternoon, then, as we wait for the kickoff. So the volume around these packed hills for terraces is turned up still more as this 1974 semi-final gets underway. Hip it again, covering a lot of ground. Played towards Tudor. Now will Cassidy take it up? But Smith alongside him. Cassidy's gone past that challenge. There's the cross towards McDonald. So it'll be a throw then to Burnley. Collins with it. Played for Thompson. Collins again. Team across this time could be very dangerous. And the number seven was right up there. And he's still not away yet. Nolte. Now Casper with a shot. Howard will take the free kick for Newcastle. Halfway through the first half. Towards John Tudor. A mighty leap now. McDonald on the left leg. Oh. pairs very nearly hunted successfully there what a good jump by Tudor and look at the speed of that man on the turn and that was a yard too high oh McDonald tremendous shot across the goal well there have just been two flashes of McDonald oh and there's the number seven Nolte in there again can Nolte still do something as the whistle goes for half time a first half so evenly divided. Burnley looking, if anything, the more composed side. Patiently stringing their passes together and working things out. Newcastle, by contrast, hitting longer balls towards McDonald and Tudor. But that's how we stand at half-time in this semi-final. Burnley nil, Newcastle nil. Still so much more to come on the big match this afternoon. So welcome back then to Hillsborough as we await now the second half of the... FA Cup semi-final, Burnley now attacking the goal to our right. And here's Noble, nil-nil. Taken very late there by Tudor. Some uncharacteristic out of John Tudor. But uh, that was a deliberate trip. And deserving of the free kick, which Colin Waldron will now take for Burnley. Play towards Casper at the near post. And again, looked a pretty late challenge again by Noble, I must say. And Noble is being called to referee Gordon Hill and will go into the book. Maybe not just for that one, but maybe for the cumulative effect of well, one or two others during the course of this game. And Peter Noble's name goes into the book. Craig's head up. went in with great determination he nearly unsettled Howard there that'll fall for McDonald played first time for Hibbert he played it out to the left almost without looking knowing that Hibbert would be there nice dummy by Hibbert there Smith keeping it going two down oh and a good save by Stevenson a beautiful move though by Newcastle Gordon Hill the referee telling the photographers now to take those steel boxes back a little further there are the Newcastle supporters and there's the Newcastle man McDermott having had his treatment and fit to go on play for McDermott the long ball again nicely taken by Tudor what a good little back pass there for Cassidy now for McDonald onto the left boot hit across the goal 
well, that time it was uh, Waldron who got it away. Hibbert. Newcastle looking a better proposition in their second half as Hibbert crosses it again. And again, it's the good catching of Alan Stevenson on the end of it. Craig going in now. Newcastle keeping this momentum going. Smith with the cross. And now will it still fall for Newcastle? Noble didn't really know what he was doing there. And now Burnley can take it away with Collins. Casper going through the middle. Moncur covering the gap for Newcastle. And some excellent jumping for high balls and ducking in low to get in first to that one. But a goal kick to Newcastle. Too much headway, but a nice little pass in there for McDermott. The two, two Burnley players out of the game. But there's Nulty, and there's uh, Moncur. Not a very big fella, Nulty, but he uh, had quite a heart there to go in on a challenge like that with Moncur. But now it's McDermott for Newcastle. Played wide for Jim Smith. And it'll come, no, it won't, but it's a throw to Newcastle. Smith again. A little flick. Oh, and a tremendous shot there by Craig. A corner then to Newcastle. And again, Craig was right in there, and Jim Thompson getting it away now for Burnley. James. Casper up ahead of him. Now the speed of the man. Always giving him a chance, except that he's got a proper little fighter there, Terry Hibbert against him. And Newcastle now, really springing into this game, McDonald is away, Waldron is pulling him down, still McDonald, straight at the goalkeeper, still McDonald, and he scored! Malcolm McDonald, Super Mac has scored! And that puts Newcastle into the lead! Dobson played on this is a good looking Burnley move now Collins there's the shot in McFall much better second half Casper 
James making a late run and taking it beautifully. Here's James. And a good save that time from McCall. It'll be a corner to Burnley. Certainly giving his defence more time to consolidate. Hardly in the spirit of the game. Here's Collins now turning it in. Collins again to Newton. Dinked in once more. Fletcher is in there. Montclair won that well in the air. Tudor got it away to Hibbert. McDonald is on ahead. What a ball there by Hibbert. And away goes McDonald again. And that's a magnificent goal. That is number two. And that is the killer goal. That was the ball by Hibbert. And that was a magnificent ball. getting it away Newton planting it back in again again Fletcher right in there and there's a goal what a save by McCall from Casper Ian McCall a really stupendous piece of goalkeeping by the Irishman Casper must have felt that that was it needing a little bit of treatment there James. And away it goes McDonald off in chase once more. He slipped past Noble. And here's a man looking for a hat trick. On he goes. And that blasting left foot shot. Malcolm McDonald. The man who earlier today said that he could feel Wembley under his feet. Well, that left boot was a way off the mark there. But these two goals have put Newcastle on their way to Wembley. Newcastle. Thompson versus Tudor. Inside the last minute as James curls it in the game towards Frank Casper. Howard got the header away that time to Tudor. Now for Smith. On for Tudor. Inside for Cassidy. McDermott probably had more possession of the ball than anybody on the field, McDermott. Here's Smith. Kennedy up inside him. Well. Referee looking at his watch. And it's all over. And Newcastle go to Wembley. The man who scored both their goals, Malcolm McDonald. Super Mac on his day has taken Newcastle through. The last time they were in the final... 19 years ago in 1955 and now after a disappointing performance in the first half they 
turned it on in the second half. And those two goals by this fella, Malcolm McDonald, with the photographers all around him. The first one is strength taking him past the Newcastle defence. The second one a blistering pass by Hibbert, giving him a chance to show his icy cool finishing, which gave it a final scoreline here. Sheffield. Burnley nil, Newcastle two.